Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Alex and I have come to this little tiny pumping station here to check it out. First thing we want to do is go down here to this side and see what's down there. Come on, let's do it. So we've brought the dip net and a little bucket. We want to see what's living down here, see if there's bait. This is where, when it rains, all the water drains to and then the station starts pumping and pushing it out towards the other side. Oh, there's a lot of minnows here. Lots of little bait here, lots of little minnows. Oh, some bigger ones over there. Look at that. Oh, there's good size ones too. Get a little water in the bucket. See if I can scoop some up. Look at that. Look at that. That is pretty cool. I'm not sure what that is. Is that a mud minnow? I think so. It's like those little ones you catch in, yeah, like. Yeah. Usually in salt water. Oh, I got three more. Here we go, I got some more. Look at this one, it looks totally different than the others. Don't it? Yeah, I've seen those before too, I forget what they are. All right, that's enough of that, let's go fish. And here we are on the other side of the pumping station. Look at this right here. Very shallow trough. And then over here is a pond, it's not a big pond. When it gets high, the water gets pushed through a culvert back if you look right here, you'll see Alex and you'll see those willows. There's a culvert over there that the water will go through. This must rise up and come over this wall that I'm walking on. There are some fish in here right now. It's not even two feet deep. There's a cicklet right there. I just saw, I saw his white face. There's a lot hiding out over here in that shady corner. more bait over here same sort of stuff I was catching on the other side I'm walking around this right now trying to see if there's a big fish in here don't see bass yet I just see cichlids and the Rio Grande cichlids by the way and bluegill other pan fish now there are bass in here and gar and this spot does come with its own alligator maybe more than one alligator but there's one out there right now it's not very big, it's about maybe six feet. You got yourself a cichlid before I could even get a line wet. Yeah, you're right. That's on a little jig too. Yep. You know, sight fishing for like <laughs> double down there. Yeah. That's a pretty cichlid. Oh yeah. Here, let's get a look at it. Look at the spots. That's a, that's a really pretty one. Yeah, you're right. Time to get my fishing on. Let's get a bait out. All right, so I'm guessing they are mud minnows. Not 100% sure, but I'm gonna put him on this one knot just like that, using one ounce of lead here. It's a drop shot rig. It's on 25 pound test. We're just going to put this out just like so, not too far, just right off there. And we're gonna lay this down just like that. Fish it on a slack line keep an eye on it when I have a bite hopefully the line will go tight hopefully it won't go anywhere on my black widow here I have about nine feet of line and it's a drop shot of rig again size six Aberdeen little teardrop weight we need to get a big bait for another rod there we go Plop that bait right down on him. Now, it's not necessarily what I want as a bait right now, but we'll put that in the tote. Have it for later. Ah, it's another cichlid. Multi-spotter, double spotter. He's got more than one spot. Two on each side, it looks like. Nice. Interesting colors. I'll put the worm in the pond, see if I can find what I'm actually looking for. 
All I see over here is cichlids. I thought there was some bluegill. Don't see any right now. Wow, whatever's right there is sure ravenous. About stripped my hook. There we go. Ah, excellent. Got bait now. This guy is going to get free lined on an OT6. Hook right through there. There we go. It's a Gamagatsu octopus hook. Put them right out there. Same thing. We're just going to put the rod down and watch it. Got a bit of a slack line with the bail closed. See what happens. There are bass here, like I said, but there could be shoe pick. It's not really like prime time for feeding yet. It's only around 315 right now. I need another bait. This time it'll be for cut bait. Nice. Oh, that's a better size than that first bait we got. Putting out a line for gar. We're going to start out with a small four aught kale with a small piece of bait. You see, I have it cut like fillet style. That's to get the flavor in the water. It might be more productive that way. Make sure the scales are off. Now, this rig is a slip rig, so we can adjust it. But right now we have it at about two feet and we're only using I think a half ounce of lead, 80 pound braid is the main line and the leader is 50 pound test. It could be really big gar here, it could be small. I have been here before and noticed that there were some big gar, but also there could be shoe pick, you know, bowfin, same thing as bowfin. The biggest problem with fishing a float right now are the alligators. They really like the floats, but we'll just have to play with fire here and hopefully get away with it. And we want to put this over on the margins because that's where gar are oh, excuse me that's where gar are most likely going to be hanging out right now they could be anywhere really but they like to be in the margins like on the edges ambushing stuff so we're going to start like that throw it way over there might be a little too close to the margin hopefully that's in the right depth of water if it starts to lisp, then it's probably not. If it floats on its own out of there, it's probably in good water. There's also an alligator within eye shot of that float, but he's not moving. I'm gonna start throwing this Cinco here. I'm gonna have to give up on the bass thing. Let's go back to the Black Widow. It's super fun to see what all we can get. Maybe this is going to be a cichlid video. Am I in your way? Let me get out of your way, Alex. You're Alex's cork just went under. Yeah, you're right. Whoa! This is on one of those mud minnows, right? Yep. Damn it. Fucking crank is broken. Oh, hey. look at that. That's a nice looking bullhead. Oh yeah. Nice. Awesome, that, that's really cool. Look at the yeah. size of that. It's another little perch. Mm -hmm. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. That's a nice looking cichlid. They do get bigger, but that's not too bad. Oh, that is a really nice big one. Look at that. My goodness, Alex. Here, stay right there in that corner. Wow. Slow him down a little bit. Look at that. That is beautiful. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Yes. No, he was too small anyway. Let's see what else is down there. That was a bluegill that I just pulled up out of there. What's up? Oh, little tiny guy. Oh, yeah. That's what you call quality control. 
Whoa. <laughs> That's probably the same one. Another little bait. Whoa. Well, this is nicer. Look at that. I caught a bullhead on the pole. There we go. Not a cichlid. <laughs> Here's our bass. Oh, hang on. Did you get that on a worm? Yep. Number six hook. Man, he's skinny. I told you there were bass in here. Yep. He is skinny, isn't he? Yes. Oh. That's a fair hookup. It's in the mouth. He's just upside down. There we go. We ratted him. I hear you. Look at that. That's a nice one. Decent size. Nice. A little. Sadly, I've got to go. We didn't have a lot of time to fish anyway today. It is the 4th of July, but you're watching this after. So I hope everybody had a happy, safe 4th. And all that good stuff i need to get back to the house to hang out with the dogs during the most intense part of the fireworks so they don't feel left alone this was a pretty relaxing spot i would have come back again all right thanks for watching and subscribing and i'll see you next time